Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid, our brand new quiz show where we ask two contestants eight questions of ascending difficulty to see how far they can rise up the English Football Pyramid from the National League at the bottom to the pinnacle, the Champions League champions. Our two contestants today, we've wheeled out the old Stat Wars originals. It's Chris Hamill and Patrick <laughs> Van Straten. Welcome, lads. And you'll each get three lifelines to help you on your, qu on your quest, rather. So you'll get Request a Clue, 50-50 and Super Sub, where you can call a friend for advice on the answer. Get one right and you move up a level of the pyramid, get one wrong and you drop down a level. It really is that simple. Wheeled out, Doogie. Wheeled out. How dare you? That is so rude. I know we're getting on a little bit, but you're putting us out to pasture already. You both look a lot younger than me, so I don't really know where that was coming from, to be honest. Um, Chris, <laughs> you've got your slicked back hair. You ready for the show? It's getting long on top, isn't it? It really it's is. getting long. I might keep it like that. Really? Um, I am. I am ready. I'm ready for... I mean, historically, uh, you know, there is a high chance I lose this, but it's a different platform, so different mentality. I'm going to I'm going to have him. Nice. I like it. Pat, Zach has already completed the show. Uh, pressure is on. I mean, are you feeling the weight of expectation? Uh, no, I don't care. <laughs> um, but I feel like I did all right. Like the first one, I was a question away from winning it. And then um, I got to play a very small role in Zach's triumph. So at least at least as well, when I wasn't the first person to win it, Zach was. So I, I'm happy for him. Yeah, fair enough. I think in your first attempt, Chris, you did worse than Pat, so I'm going to let you choose the coin toss. I'm flipping the coin now. Uh, do you want heads or tails? Let's go for tails, never fails. It is tails, never fails. Would you like Come to go on. first or second? Yeah, let's go first. Bring it on. Take fate into my own hands. Come on. Let's have it. Here we go. Chris, your question in the National League is which Chelsea striker was famously told he was no longer wanted by text? Is it A, Diego Costa, B, Fernando Torres, C, Nicolas Anelka, or D, Adrian Mutu? I believe that was Diego Costa by Antonio Conte. Not like the Italian to be absolutely ruthless. You're locking in A, Diego Costa. No errors. Well done, Chris. Error free. Good stuff. Pato, your question comes in from Charlie Featherston, and it's which player scored the Hand of God goal against England in 1986? Oh, come on. Was it A, Lionel Messi? B, Diego Maradona, C, Sergio Aguero, or D, Jorge Valdano? Uh, it's Maradona. B, Maradona. Well done, lads. No problems. Bloody hell. Right, Chris, we're in League Two with you, and it's who was manager of Chelsea prior to Jose Mourinho in 2004? Was it A, Andre Villas-Boas, B, Luis Felipe Scolari, C, Claudio Ranieri, or D, Gianluca Vialli? Too late for Viali, too early for the other two. I think it was Claudio Ranieri. He was first entrusted with the Abramovich project, right? Come on. You're locking in Claudio Ranieri. The and you're Jinkerman. absolutely right. Well done, Chris. Yes. Breezing in. Right, Pat, your question at League Two level came in from Ibrahim Hashim. And they want to know, how many points did Man City get in the 1718 campaign? Was it A, 99, B, 100, C, 101, or D, 102? I think it was 100. You're going in with B, 100. Correct. Well done. The Centurions. The Centurions on the dot. No more, no less. Chris, your question at League One level came in from at Amin Mitra. And it's who yeah. did Zinedine Zidane take the Real Madrid job from on the 11th of March 2019? That's crucial. A. Julian Lopetegui, B. Carlo Ancelotti, C. Santiago Scolari, or D. Vicente Del Bosque? Lopetegui took it off Scolari, right? Or is it the other way around? Panic, stations, early doors. <laughs> I mean, Lopetegui, of course, fits the time frame, but there was someone either before or after him, wasn't there? Well, there were many people before him. <laughs> around that period, you know what? We can't I mean. comment on who came after. So, was it... Uh, I'm going to go Solari. You're locking in. C, Santiago Solari. You weren't quite sure, but you were right. Trust your gut, Chris. Really, really puzzled then as to who came first. That was... Lopetegui only lasted about six months, didn't he? Yeah, I think he was fired in like November. Then Solari was there to like, well, as we say, 11th of March. And then, and then Zinedine Zidane came in for the last bit. Yeah. Anyway, Pat, 
In League One, uh, your question comes in from Foot Bible. Jesus Christ, I thought you were about to say in League One and the question was about to be about League One. And I thought, <laughs> like, here we can go. How many Premier League goals did Alan Shearer score? A, 240, B, 250, C, 260, or D, 270? Oh, Jesus. Loads. Uh... You do have all three lifelines. Oh, sh I do know this. I think it's 260. It's either 240 or 260, I think. What were the other ones? 250, 270. Mm. It's not those. Um, I don't actually care enough to use a lifeline. I'm going to go 260. Oh. oh, you're locking in C260. You weren't quite sure, but you didn't care enough anyway, so you won't mind either way. But you were right. Hey. Well done. <laughs> I does care. Did you hear that little way? It's like one of those things, isn't it, where like sometimes you uh, you don't remember exactly. You know, like when you don't remember your pin code, but you just like trust that your hand will do it automatically. It's yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. like that. I find it obscene that Alan Shearer landed on a round number, like on a zero. Yeah, that is kind of weird. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. There's a there's a one in ten chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris, you're in the championship now. You're flying. Uh, you've got all three lifelines. But your question comes in from Ryan one one five six four five five zero, and they want to know. Oh yeah. Who is England's most capped international of all time? A. Wayne Rooney. B. Steven Gerrard. C. Bobby Moore. Or D. Peter Shilton. It's Peter Shilton. You're locking in D. Peter Shilton. Yeah. Well done, Chris. No delays. You're into the Prem. I mean, he's had some very suspect views on Twitter uh, in recent times, so I, that's why I just want to move on, to be perfectly honest. Don't want to talk about him any longer. You can say that again. Right. Pat, we're in the championship with you. Your question comes in from Colm on the Discord. And they say, who was subbed on in the 2014 World Cup for a penalty shootout? A, Tim Krull. B, Jasper Sillison. C, Michelle Vorm. Or D, Edwin van der Sar? Uh, Tim Krull. A, Tim Krull. Both of you flying. Well done, lads. Into the Premier League. Hey, there we go. You're speeding through as well. This is this is excellent. The promised land, eh, Dukes? The pro yeah. <laughs> Seems like a distant memory now. <laughs> Isn't it just? Chris, your question uh, comes in from Mohamed Hadji in the Premier League. And they say, Legend. who is the only referee to referee both the Champions League and World Cup finals in the same year. A, Pierre-Luigi yeah. Tolina, B, Howard okay. Webb, C, Mathieu Lahouz, or D, Mark Clattenburg. And you do have all three lifelines. Christ, I'm awful at referee questions because I don't really acknowledge them. <laughs> like This feels like a very significant step up in difficulty very yeah. suddenly. Yeah, the Premier League, it's where it gets serious, you know. The only ref I know is, uh, or whose name I like recall instantly, is uh, the one from Pez who was called Penny Feather, just because I thought that was an like, insanely Victorian name for a referee. Uh, like <laughs> uh, Others, I, I even struggle to recall like, like Clattenburg. I, I know his face, but... Very famous name. hair transplant. Did well. Um, he he also has a tattoo, I think, of the Champions League final, doesn't he? Uh, on him. He might well so be. he might be a can he might be a candidate just just by virtue of having refed at least one of them. I'm going to have to take at least a 50-50. I don't I don't even think if I if I phone someone they'd have an informed opinion on this. So you're going 50-50? Yeah. Your 50-50 is Pierre Luigi Colina or Howard Webb. Oh, good job. I didn't know. Oh, Battenberg then. Um, <laughs> Howard Webb or Kalina? Jesus. Jesus Christ, are you still debating this? <laughs> Pat's let his paint right in the time. It is difficult, but it's also like... Howard Webb. If you don't know. You're going with B, Howard Webb? Yes. You were right, Chris. Well done. Yeah. Oh, well Into done, the Europa. Chris. Worth taking that extra couple minutes. Not really. Okay. Pat, your question comes in from Say Pritham 17 uh, on Instagram, I think it was. And they want to know, how many titles did Pep win in 2009, the calendar year 2009, while in charge of Barcelona? A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, or D, 7? Um, okay, so he won the, the league. The Copa del Rey, the Champions League, the Super Cup, presumably the Club World Cup as well. 
I feel I thought he won six trophies that year, but I can't imagine what the sixth one would be. Oh, the Supercopa de España, I guess. So I guess I'll go six because I don't have any. I mean, it could be five. Like it could be. I don't know, but I, I don't really have a smarter answer. So I guess I'll go six. Pat, you're going six at Premier League level. And you were right. Well worked out. Well, Very solid. <laughs> I thought you were going to forget the Super Cup, the Spanish Super Cup. That was impressive. It's only because I thought it was six, mate. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was just like easier to work it out. Right, boys, you're both in the Europa League. Chris, you've used one lifeline, but I think we might have a, a winner today, potentially. But let's have a look. Chris, your question comes in from George Bailey. And it's, and it is, sorry, which side holds the record for the most points in a championship season? And for a clue, I'll just give you this. The division was founded in 2004. So A, Sunderland, B, Newcastle, C, Leicester City, or D, Reading? Uh, when was the EFL rebranded? When was League One rebranded as the championship? That must have been 2004. That's, what, why are you asking that? He's just told you that, you lunatic. It, it became the championship going, in 2004. Oh, I mean, didn't want to be a prima donna, Doogie, but bits of the question there aired out. Glitched. Oh, fair. I've had to shut the door. I'm not getting good Wi-Fi because the fucking washing machine's going. Um, okay. I'm going to go Dave Kitson's Reading. Oh, you're locking in D, Reading. I think that's right. I don't know where that came from, Chris, but you were right. Well done. It came from my grey matter. Don't you disrespect me. That wasn't a guess. That was knowledge. Um, Pat, your question <laughs> at Europa League level came in from Adita Jar, and it's which of these teams have never reached the World Cup final? A, Czechoslovakia, B, Sweden, C, Switzerland, or D, Hungary? And you have all three lifelines. Okay, Sweden has, Czechoslovakia has. My instinct here is Switzerland. I might just go for it, you know. You're locking it in? See Switzerland? Yeah, Switzerland. Pat, the journey continues. Without using a lifeline, you're into the Champions League. Cheers, bro. What a high standard today, boys. You've really brought out the, you know, the A game. Love it's it. a pain in the ass to ring people, dudes. That's why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. You're both in the Champions League. You're both two questions away. Chris, you've got two lifelines. Pat, you've got three. Chris, your question comes in from Sam Niblock1. And it's which of these teams has got to a European Cup slash Champions League final but never won their domestic league? A, Ream. B, Fiorentina. C, Leeds United. Or D, Bayer Leverkusen? That's a fantastic question. Well, thanks, Sam Niblock1. Um, I'm just going to have to yell at, you know, whoever I can find in the street as my phone a friend, aren't I? <laughs> Super sub. <laughs> I might as well request a clue. Yeah, I forgot that fucker existed. So your clue is they had a pretty horrible time in 2002. I was thinking Leverkusen because they lost like three or four. The possibility of winning three or four trophies in, in one calendar year, right? Or something along those lines. I think I even covered them on a on an extra time podcast, but literally, if I have to if I have to learn new knowledge, I have to unlearn something. It's <laughs> not enough space up there, so I've forgotten. Empty your brain. Uh, two thousand and two. Okay, so I think that ties in with Michael Balak also losing the World Cup final. I think I think that might be that might be the thing, right? I'm gonna go for Leverkusen, Dugate. Chris, you're at the Champions League level. You've locked in D by a Leverkusen. And you're going to be one question away, Chris. You're going up to the Champions League winning question. Congrats. Come on. Good use of clues there. Really good work. Okay, Pat, your question at Champions League level to join Chris one question away comes in from Stuart on the Discord. And it's who is the UEFA Cup slash Europa League's all-time top goalscorer? A, Klaas Jan Huntela, B, Radamel Falcao, C, Aritz Adoritz, or D, Henrik Larsson? I believe it's Falcao. Um, I believe it is. Uh, but I'll do I'll do, a, I'll do a 50-50, why not? Your 50-50 is Klaas Jan Huntela or Henrik Larsson? <laughs> um, hmm. Could use another clue, I suppose. 
Well, I, why don't I use my, uh, what's it called? Super sub. Sure. Who are you going to call? And how? <laughs> Oh, I'm between I'm between McCubbin and George Wright. I've got to say, I'll, I'll call I'll call George Wright. You've got to call George Wright actually, because I had McCubbin check over the questions beforehand. So you've got to call George. I'm afraid. I would love to call McCubbin then. That would be great. <laughs> I'll call George Wright. Hang on. Oh, I'm starting a new call. Hello, George. Os. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm on. I'm. Uh, this is the question to get to the second to last stage of the football pyramid. So. It's the top scorer in the UEFA Cup slash Europa League. And it's either Klaas Jan Huntela or Henrik Larsson. What do you think? Uh, my instinct is Henrik Larsson. Yeah, that's troubling because my instinct was Huntela. But um, thank you very much. A George special. Right, cheers, George. Bye. Okay, bye. So what did he say, Pat? He said Henrik Larsson. And though my instinct actually said Huntela, again, I can't stress this enough. I really don't mind not winning. <laughs> so um, I didn't win last time. It's fine. So um, I'm happy to go with that. Uh, George George thinks it's Henrik Larsson. I'm going to go for Henrik Larsson. Okay. Quite a long delay on that. Finding, you know, finally got the super sub working. Called George. He thinks it's Henrik Larsson. And George was right. Yes. Congratulations. Ah, oh, thank God he knew better than me. That's brilliant work. And we finally used the super sub. Excellent. So... Both of them have a have an opportunity to win here. Chris, your question at Champions League winning level is name the two nations to have won three Olympic golds in football. A, Brazil and Argentina. B, Great Britain and Brazil. C, the Soviet Union and Argentina. Or D, Great Britain and Hungary. Okay, I'm going to discount Great Britain because what, didn't Great Britain's team only form for the London Olympics or or maybe the one prior to that Brazil 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 Did, how many times have Brazil won the Olympics this is the sort of thing that you're you're quite good at working out Argentina Argentina Messi that's Messi's sole trophy it was under Bielsa wasn't it historically Brazil have taken football in the Olympics very seriously right so I think it's A or C go with your heart Chris the Soviet Union, again, historically taking the Olympics very seriously because they didn't have the funding at club level that Western teams did. So they centralised their budget, put it into the Olympics. You know what? I'm going Argentina. I'm going Soviet Union. Although Brazil have at least won it twice. I'm going C. Don't need to make a call. Don't care. You're going C, Soviet Union and Argentina. Took a long time, but you got there in the end. You've locked in C, Soviet Union, Argentina. This to win the show, Chris. You were wrong. Fuck. I'm afraid it was Great Britain and Hungary. Fucking Great Britain? Yeah. When did that happen? Yeah. I, I, they haven't won it since 1968, but they won a lot of the early ones. That was going to be the clue. Oh, Neither Great well. Britain and Hungary have won. But yeah, sorry, Chris. Wasn't to be, but you were one question away. You finished up in the Champions League. Very respectable. You know what? I don't mind going out on that. To be fair, I thought your rationale was very right as well. I would never have guessed Great Britain and Hungary either. That was the least the least plausible one, I thought. That's why it's that's why it's the Champions League winning question. Pat, your question fair. to win the show. This is where I got to last time. Exactly. This uh, question comes in from Nicolas Mora Morales. And it's which side has won the most Copa Libertadores? Is it A, Boca Juniors, B, Independiente, C, Penarol, or D, River Plate? Um, I mean, I might, I might as well use my clue. Sure. Your clue is, this side last won it in 1984. Oh. Okay. I think that rules out River. I think they've won it since then, maybe. My brain said Independiente at the beginning, but I don't know why. Like, to be honest, they're all plausible. Except Peñarol. I don't really think it's Peñarol. That's that's the most satisfying one to say. Peñarol. Peñarol. Especially with Pat doing his, his Spanish, you know, N. Well, it's an N, yeah. 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 I refuse to do that. Okay, so, so by my own logic, I should be between Boca and Independiente. Uh, I think, whatever. I'm going to go Independiente because that was what my brain said immediately. And, you know, I'm not like Chris and I... Worst case, we're going to finish on the same level. That's absolutely fine. Okay. 
It was a great question from Nicholas Morales. Make sure you keep on DMing me on Twitter and Instagram. I thought you were going to say it was a great question that you'd come up with. And no, I was about, no, no. Like, really? <laughs> we're, suck- we're sucking each other off to that extent now. Now is not the time for boasting. <laughs> okay, you're one question away, obviously, Pat. You win this, you, get it, you win the whole quiz. You've gone independiente. And we have our second champion. Congratulations. Yay. Ticker tape comes down. Whoa, I just feel relief. Pure relief, to be honest. Oh, Pat, congratulations. You've won the show, our second ever victor. How are you feeling? Thank you, Diggs. Uh, I feel good about it. Um, between the two shows, I've got one one answer wrong. So that feels that feels pretty good. That's that's Man City 198 points over two seasons. That's how that feels. <laughs> yeah, you've uh, you've smashed it. Congratulations, Chris. You also did phenomenally well. You were just one question away. A very difficult question. Much improved on your first and second showings. Congratulations. Wow, brutal. <laughs> just a just a nearly man again. You know, if it wasn't for those Stat Wars the league titles, I'd be I'd I'd be just a perpetual nearly man, wouldn't I? I've lost lost two finals in, in the champions and, and now touching distance yet again. It's just all very painful, mate. Well, congratulations to both of you on a fantastic showing. And that's all we've got time for on the football pyramid for this week. Our highest quality definitely by a distance. Let us know who you guys want to see on it next week. Let us know your thoughts about uh, the questions, etc. in the comments down below. Don't forget to DM me on Twitter and Instagram with your suggestions for future weeks. And Pat, once they've watched this, this is going out on Saturday, what should they go and do now? Uh, they can check out the podcast. Uh, the latest episode uh, is me and Chris, uh, where we discuss like some of the weirder transfers this summer. Artur and Pjanic swap among them. And the one before that, which is me and Sam Abasaki talking about racism in football, which I think is a really good one. Yeah, for sure. Our podcasts have been a very high standard recently. Um, Chris, anything from you? Yeah, sure. Go over and watch the Adriano one-on-one. Uh, I say go over we're on Euro Football Daily right now. So stay here and watch the Adriano one-on-one. I really enjoyed uh, working on that. You guys know I've got a soft spot for Brazilian football. Um, and this goes out on Saturday, right? So go and check the latest top 10 over on FD as well, if, if that tickles your pickle. Lovely. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.